Hi, Floss Tube. This is Stitching Addict with you here today. Um, you'll see I'm in a bit of a different spot uh, just because of stuff and things, which I'll talk about in a bit. Um, yeah, it's. I know it hasn't been that long since I've uploaded a video, and I don't have a whole lot to show you as far as stitching goes. Uh, but I do have a little bit and I thought that I would do that, um, while I'm waiting for my, my supper. Um, I've been working on Glendon Place, uh, Dragons, Dragon Affairs, and I'm working on that for one of my classmates in, uh, in university who lives in Alberta and so this is everything above here is complete I'm just working on the last little bit here and then I have some more to do on this side over here um, and I need to get a little bit more of this green which I will do sometime in the future and I just use this uh, this shelf paper rubbery stuff, like the anti-slip stuff, just to protect my Q-snap while it's in my in my Lowry stand. Um, sorry, I'm just reattaching it here. Um, wrong way. And I would. Uh, I would uh, really like to thank everyone who has ordered from my mom and my Etsy shop in the last little while. Um, we really appreciate it. We've been really busy. We have lots of new products in our Etsy shop. I'll link it below. And uh, yeah, and as far as a life update, um, this is a hard one, guys. Um, a lot of you know uh, my dog Max. He uh, he unfortunately crossed the Rainbow Bridge last week Thursday on uh, on July twenty eighth. He was twelve years and eleven months. Um, he got a tick bite three weeks ago. And we didn't think anything of it. He's had ticks before. No big deal. Um, I got rid of it. And life went on as usual. I just checked him more often for ticks. Because it's tick season here. And uh, three weeks to the day, he got very, very ill. Um, we rushed him into the... Uh, vet hospital about 10 kilometers from where I live. Um, they gave us medication saying he had a double ear infection and a uh, possible bleeding ulcer and they gave us meds for that. Um, and then the next day, um, he fell out of my bed. This is not normal for him. This was not normal for him fall out of my bed and I he went limp and I literally thought he had broken his neck um, but he recovered ish sort of um, but he just kept getting weaker and weaker and Saturday morning we rushed him back to the vet hospital and they said that he had lost a lot of blood and he was so weak, he was critically, critically ill, and they needed to do a blood transfusion. So we left him there with the vet. They took care of him over the weekend, gave him the blood transfusion and the meds that he needed. And on Monday at noon, I could come and pick him up. And he, uh, he seemed to be doing okay. We had to treat him very, like we had to carry him basically everywhere because they said that he was at a high risk of, 
of bleeding because of the blood transfusion. And Thursday morning, um, I'd been staying at my parents' place uh, for from Monday till Wednesday night and Wednesday evening I decided I wanted to sleep in my bed because I was starting to feel like a pretzel from being on the couch and so I went home I took Max and at three in the morning he uh I don't know if it was prior to that, but at three in the morning, he uh, he wanted to get out of bed to go outside. Okay, no big deal. Um, he was on medication that made him very thirsty, so he drank a lot more than normal, and he did have to go out more often, which I'm like, okay, whatever. And then uh, not long after that, he he began hemorrhaging, and... Yeah, it was, it was bad. At eight in the morning, we rushed him back to the vet hospital and the vet said they could try to do some things, but there was only a 10% chance that he would even respond due to his age. And uh, she said that he had something called Evans syndrome, which is an immune disorder where the immune system attacks its own blood cells. And so it, he was suffering. And uh, so she said that they could try and do another blood transfusion and put him on chemo meds and all the things. But I couldn't have him suffer any uh, suffer. I know he... He was older, and she did say that he would most likely not recover. And so, yeah, he, I say goodbye to my little boy, and yeah, it's it's been hard, guys. It's been hard. Um, I wasn't in any of my university classes last week because. Nursing Max was a 24-hour-a-day job just with his meds and doing them all at specific times, and he had to be fed every two hours and things like that. And so I did not do any stitching last week, and so what you see is what I've what I did prior to that. Like last weekend, I did some stitching um, because he was at the hospital there and so yeah I'm uh, I moved back home on Saturday my mom came and helped me pack away his things um, and then and then we had actually plans for the evening to go to my uncle's my uncle's house uh, for a fire, which was really good. Um, and yeah, so and then I actually have been doing a bit of homework and trying to catch up. And today is a bank holiday here in Canada. Um, but I did have a class this morning because in my university is out of BC, out of Vancouver. And so in BC, it's not a bank holiday. It's only in certain, pro it's weird. It's very weird. Anywho, I don't know if in the States they have that where one state has a holiday and the others don't. I don't know if that's a thing. Um, but anyway, in BC, it, it's not a bank holiday. Um, it's not a statutory holiday. So I did have one class this morning and I attended. Um, my school has been great. They've given me um, compassion accommodations, which is wonderful considering it's for a, for a pet. But they are very understanding. Um, they're giving me that chance to catch up. 
So I will be doing that a lot over the next couple of weeks. I will be playing catch up with all my schoolwork that I've missed. Um, so I may not be doing quite as much stitching. And so you may not see me. I know you don't see me that often as it is. Now I'm behind. Now it's going to be anyway. Um, but I did feel that I know a lot of you have commented when Max has sat on my lap when I'm doing my videos and things. Um, I did want to tell you that I had, that he was, uh, he crossed the Rainbow Bridge. Um, and uh, I've, ha I've had very supportive family and friends around me. So that's been, that's been really good. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, I figured I would let you guys know. I am doing okay now. Um, it's, it's easier now that his stuff is packed away. It's, it's easier. It's, I'm not forgetting him by any means, but just not having the reminders around me every time is, is a bit easier. I've pulled out different blankets than what he's ever been on, um, quilts and things that I never really had, have no connection to him, which helps as well. Um, but yeah, I figured I would let you guys know. I will put some pictures of of him at the end of this video um and again thank you very much for watching i know i've had a lot of new subscribers and this is kind of an off video for me hopefully the next time i will have lots to show you guys and i'll be feeling more up to doing stuff but I did want to say we have added a lot of new things to our Etsy shop, my mom and my Etsy shop, and I will be posting a link below. Feel free to visit. Um, I'll also have a coupon code below as well for 20% off the shop, and uh, you just need to enter that at checkout, and we, we would be very happy to serve you, and if you have any questions or anything for me, Please uh, send me a comment. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone has a great stitchy week. Um, I know this is a bit of an off video, but I hope you guys do have a very good week. And happy stitching. See you.